Urban Meyer has said that there is a quarterback competition in Jacksonville between Gardner, Minshew, and Trevor Lawrence Gardner Flint Minshew, of course, is the mustachioed quarterback, former former starting quarterback of the Jacksonville Jaguars. He had a great start to his career. The Jag he was on a terrible team. The Jags are not a good team, but he did fine. And he showed that he can play. Regardless of how bad the team around him is, he showed that he can be a successful quarterback and a potential franchise quarterback in this league. That being said. He was a sixth-round pick. There, there, there was never the spotlight on him. There was never that full trust on him. Trevor Lawrence got, is a number one overall pick. He is a prototypical quarterback. He's got everything you want in a quarterback, and he's good. He is damn good. So what does Urban Meyer really mean when he says there's a quarterback competition? Like, is there really a competition? Let me answer that question first. Is there really a competition in Jacksonville? And no, there is not. As much as I love Gardner Minshew, I am the biggest Minshew fan you can find. There is not a quarterback controversy in Jacksonville. It is an open and shut case. It is an open and shut scenario. Week one, Trevor Lawrence is going to be the starter. He is going to be under center, barring an injury. You can take that to the bank. That is gospel. That is truth. Now, the other question is, why might Urban Meyer have said that there is a quarterback battle? There, These two are in competition with each other. Why would he say that? Why would he say such a thing? And the answer to me is, is you know, it, one, I think it's to kind of, you know, not show anyone his cards, even though his cards are pretty obviously out there. The other aspect of it I, that I do think plays a part in it is I don't think that uh, I don't think that Urban Meyer believes that. Um, having just giving Trevor Lawrence the quarterback job right now is probably best for him. Maybe this is a way to to motivate him, make him play better, force him into a position where he plays better, um, and and for and maybe force some good things out of Minshew to drive up Minshew's trade value because Gardner Minshew's name has been a name that people have been saying on the trade market. He's been a name that has been linked to the the um he's been linked. To, to the Colts after after uh, Carson Wentz's injury. So I think there, there's there's good value in doing this both to motivate your rookie quarterback, your rookie number one pick, who the team, the franchise is hedging their bets on, and also the young guy who's shown that he can ball out, the young guy who's shown that he, he can do a lot of the things that you need to do to play quarterback and be successful at it. Probably should have won rookie of the year his rookie year, but... And driving up his value, I think, is a good thing because it would help the team get better. You could get a better draft pick for him, you know, or it might even be in a position where it's like, hey, if Trevor Lawrence goes down, we have Gardner Minshew to fall back on. And that's not a bad backup plan by any means, even on the Jacksonville Jaguars, who, by the way, got a lot better in this draft, got a lot better in free agency. So I think that this is mainly just a like, you know, strategic move by Urban Meyer. There's no truth to the fact that there's a legitimate competition. Uh, if it brings the best out of both of these quarterbacks, if it brings the best out of them and it drives up Minshew's trade value, it makes uh, Lawrence compete better, then I'm all for it. Good. If it's a legitimate statement about about how about where these quarterbacks are and 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 what have you. If you're telling me seriously that there is a competition between Trevor Lawrence, who got picked number one overall. And and the incumbent Gardner Minshew, who who Trevor Lawrence got picked over, there is one either serious incompetence going on in the coaching staff, or two, Trevor Lawrence might be worse than we than anyone ever thought. Trevor Lawrence must be looking bad in practice, but I don't believe that's the case because all the reports we're hearing is Trevor Lawrence looks pretty good. So. So it has to be, it just has to be a strategic move. There's there's nothing else to it. There's legitimately nothing else to it, and there shouldn't be anything else to it. Um, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Who who might be a good trade destination for Gardner Minshew? I think I I, I said the Colts. You know, the Colts are probably sticking though with with Eason, and and they're saying that Wentz might be back earlier. But you know, if I'm the if I'm the Saints, I might take a chance on Minshew too. If I'm the Saints, if I'm the Broncos, I might take a chance on Minshew. You know, I, there's a lot of teams. Are the Miami Dolphins happy with Tua Tagovailoa? Another question there. And, the, and look, none of these are out of the realm of possibility. I think Minshew could go to any of those teams and be pretty successful.
legitimately. No cap. All day. Every day. Real take. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.